Hey guys, it's Gaming Mom 3912 coming at you with Out of the Box. How is everybody today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let's get into this and find out more creeper rides. We're gonna run into miners and everything. Okay. Okay, Warren, here we go again. See, you're getting better at this, but don't let your guard down. People try to fool you. Tonight, I'll show you some of the dirty tricks. Let's get started. And you are? You don't know the great Mickey Swanson? I'm a VIP. Let me check. I want ID, man. Can I see, please? What? I've been coming to this club for years, and I've been, never been treated like this. I've always been a valued customer, and no one calls me a liar. Yeah, then you know what? If you're not a liar, then how come? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Yep, you're able to go. Your ID, please? Nope. Get out of my line, miner. Oh, please tell me. Oh, my God. No, this place doesn't suck. You just can't be served alcohol, dude. This guy looks really nervous. I don't trust him. Ask him for his ID. Do you have ID? Oh, yeah, fake ID. Take a look at this guy's date of birth. Press R3. Told you. You messed with the date. It's fake. A lot of you want that too. You'll see tons of fake ideas around here. People get really creative. Make sure you check the date and the picture closely. Sometimes even you stole one of purchased IDs. Don't trust anyone. Kick the smart ass out. Let me see my ID, dude. Oh my gosh. You're illegal, dude. Show me your ID. Yeah, you're fine. Look, I'm working on it too, but you harping on me doesn't help. No! Leave me. I'm on the VIP. Hold on, let me check. Let me check your ID. It's obvious you're new. Okay, you can go in, dude. So, you're the famous Warren I've heard so much about. Maybe. You know, it's weird. I thought you'd be a lot older. Thanks, I guess. I'm, I I'm Elizabeth. You can call me Liz. Nice to meet you, Liz. I don't want to waste your time on the VIP. Morgan. Thanks, Warren. See you around. Ciao. Hey, do you know who that audio was? No clue, man. Well, you'll find out soon enough. You can get in. No. First of all, calm down. Seriously, fuck you. I don't want anything to do with you or your kind. Man, you want to look elsewhere or you're going to... Get out or get some. You better call your friends, chump. Better calm down. Oh, no. Have your ID, please? Yeah, you're cool. Excuse me. How do I get to the shopping area? I think it's on the back street. Oh, shit face. What do you mean is shit face? What is your problem? Get out of my line.
No! Better calm down. Oh, give me a break. It's been two hours already. Get the hell out of you, you slut. Don't look at me like that, you slut. Oh my god. Oh my god! I hope. I don't control where the customers come from, dude. But you better. But you control who goes in. I protected the border. It is a safe border. And you are. Ronald Rump. <laughs> Ronald Rump. Fine. I know, we did bad, guys. But we have mostly drunks, minors, like seriously, and Ronald Rump. There you, there you are, boy. How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Glad to hear it. You see, I want you to meet someone very special. This is Liz, my girl. All right, we met outside. Nice to see you again, Liz. It's always nice, huh? You'll see her around pretty often. Just like with Vinny or any of my men. She's always welcome here. Got it? Don't worry, I'm a girl girl. Can't say the same about Vinny and the gang now. Don't worry about them. I got it under control. Well, that's it then. See you next Saturday. Liz and I have things to do. I bet! See you, Warren. He, she's old enough to be his daughter. Like, seriously? That's bad. Oh, that's bad, man. Let's see if we could do better this time. Warren, someone's been asking for you earlier. It was like, it was a lady. And she looked pissed. She got her name. Do I look like your freaking assistant? By the way, personal matters on your spare time. Got it? Got it. Won't happen again. Okay, now get to work. So really, working for Harry Sullivan again? I had to see it with my own eyes. What do you want, Nicole? Oh, and I just felt like reminding you how stupid you are. That guy will fuck you over in the end, but this time you'll end up dead. I don't need to worry you to worry about me. I'm okay. I'm not getting any involved in. I'll never stop paying Chloe's child support. You got my word. We don't want your bloodstained money, Warren. You know that. This time is different. This is a legal job and you know I have the right to see my daughter. It's your life, Worm, but I don't trust that man. He already ruined our lives once. Trust me, Nicole. I know what I'm doing. I wish I could trust you. I really wish I could. I... Going home. Please be careful. You can go in. Get out of my line, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's ID. Yep, you can go in. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Come on, let's go. I think if I ignore them long enough, they'll go away. Uh, you can't come in there with a the briefcase, dude. Uh, ID, please. Sir, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. We can't accept someone in such obvious state of being drunk. But you can't kick me out. I have something for you. Excuse me? I I'm on the VIP. It's my ID. 
This guy knows drunk people aren't allowed. That's why he's offering you a bribe. Look, Harry. It doesn't like the... Harry doesn't like this kind of stuff, but we can all use a pocket, right? Okay. 40 bucks. There. Okay, what a jerk. No, I'm just not... Come on. Yeah, get out of my line! Zach, come on. He's obviously using a fake ID. Kick him out. Yeah! Yep. ID. Ah, uh, no purses. Nope. Seriously, why do miners try it? Okay, let's get rid of some of these people. They're getting on my nerves. Yes! Okay. Now, hopefully... Sorry, I just got carried away. Now, what... Uh, man, would you like to go in with me? Well, I have work to do. Ooh, that's too bad. I have a big strong man with me tonight. Oh, VIP, uh, sir. You're a VIP, can I have your name? Really, you don't recognize my purse? <laughs> Hilton. Yeah, well, that person. Yeah, nice try, dude. Well, get rid of the drunks for me and we'll be fine. Oh my god, and the miners! Oh my god. Allow me to refresh your memory. I came in there with my girl. Oh, I remember you. You're the scumbag who treated her like shit. Fuck you. Freak you, man. Which he and I was real. It didn't look so real when she walked away. She didn't look too sad about it. Frig you! I, I'm gonna rip your freaking head off. Come on, man. I don't want to hit you again. Chill out, will ya? I will after I break your friggin' nose. Come on. Yeah? You like that, wouldn't you? I didn't want to have to come to this. Well, I guess he learned his lesson now. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on! Get out of here. You're not legal, dude. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, because you can't bring bags in. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I've come to this conclusion. You can't bring... One, you're drunk. Oh my god. 
I know, I fucked. I, it's not the point. It's just that, and you have all minors and everything. What do you do? Where am I here? Dr. Goldman's office? Hello again, Mr. Baker. It's good to see you. Cut the small talk. I'm just gonna... Just give me my pills, okay? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. We have a little problem. Shit, I don't like the way this is going. The thing is, you're no longer a convict, so I'm afraid the government won't be, be, be defraying your treatment anymore. Defraying? Mr. Baker, I can't give you pills anymore. But I have a job now. Doesn't my insurance cover this? I'm afraid those expenses aren't covered by current it's insurance. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on! There, is, there must be something you can do. I completely understand. How do you feel about... Feel right now, Mr. Baker? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. This is great. Just freaking great! However, there is an alternative you might be willing to reconsider. I'm listening. Have you ever heard of homopathy? Freak you, Doc! What? But... Freak you! I'm out of here. You keep your freaking patience like that. No, that's not what he meant. Oh, boy. I think the doctor should have... Instead of using medical terms, they should have... And that's what I mean. I say to my doctor, he speaks medical terms. Speak English. Okay. I don't understand medical. You see, you manage on your own. I will. Get out of my line. Get out of my line. You can't bring bags. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you're good. Your ID, please. Yeah. ID. Yeah. Please, no one. Go away. ID, please. Yeah. Let's see your ID. Even though I know some of these people are illegal, it's just... Yeah, like this. ID, please. Let's go. Well, next. Dude, you can't come in here with a bag. Please help me. Someone's following me. Hold it, pal. Who's after you? Why should I care? It, it's a long story. Yes, I'm tired of it already. Please, I'll reward you if you help me. Next. Wait, please, I'm begging you. I'll give you my word. I'll come back next Saturday and I'll pay you. Yeah, fine, go in. Thank you. You won't regret this, I swear. Now the ID, please. Yeah, get out of my line with your fake ID, lady. Oh, crap, I hit the wrong one. Wait a minute, are you a famous actor? What's your name? I dare say I'm Nicholas Cage. <laughs> but I drank. Yeah, you were great in that plane hijacking movie, Mr. Cage. It played in jail and it was really motivating. Wow, thanks, I guess. Listen, could you take a look at my... My name is there. Mr. Cage, I think you better go home. You may be right. I'm crashing. See ya. I think. Sure do. You were a few weeks with that dickhead. Well, yeah, I'm glad it's over. I'm with Megan now. I want to thank you for what you did. I met her that same night. It was all thanks to you. Is that so? Well, I'm happy for you then. Here, this is my way of saying thank you. Please take it. Nice! My parents are rich. I use daddy's on the bit of platinum cards, so no biggie. You know what?
Oh my gosh. Come on. Take it easy. Okay, you're the boss. Oh my gosh, I just want to click on one girl. Uh, yeah, that would be a good idea, dude. Why? Because you're drunk. ID, please. I'm working on it, dude. I'm just trying to get rid of the drunks. Oh my gosh, and then they get the guy with the light story. Look, dude! Ugh. Yeah, son. I might know, I might, depends on the reward. Reward, this is the wild, this is the wild west, pal. You know something, you have to tell me. Come on, make a good offer and I'll tell you where he went. Damn it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Now tell me. Yeah, Dwight Halley, I'm. Perfect. You're mine now, kid. No, he's not. ID, please. Oh, shh. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, that was bad. Well, you guys seen I'm mostly drunks, minors, and fake ideas. Oh, this is not good. I can't even pay my freaking rent. Oh, boy. I know I should have paid my rent. Damn. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, we gotta speed it up here. Definitely. Yeah, I'm ready. Dexter! But I don't think Dexter looked like that. Oh, he's got a bag. He can't come in here. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. You can't come in with a bag. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, because you're a minor. Come on.
Oh my god. What is with all the drunks? Because you got drunk anyway. No! I had a miner in again. I know. This is bad. I I'm busy talking here. Okay, let's double check this. It's kind of hard to tell. Dude, you're drunk. How's it going, Warren? Can't complain. There. Come on, ID, please. Nope. I know this guy is legal. But I'm trying to... Oh my god! These people in their life stories. Okay. ID, please. Nope. Get out of my line, you drunken people! Uh oh. What the frick? Why did you do that, Warren? What? Shh. Shh. Crap. I need my pills. Oh my god. I guess we just got bored. I'm leaving. Thanks for your help. You saved me, man. I won't forget it. Oh! Oh my god. No purses. I know. Pause. While well, stop giving me the drunks, the miners, and people like telling me the life stories, and I can get through this line faster. Uh oh. So what's up, Warren? How's work? Good, I guess. You guess? Well, it's only been two weeks, you know. I just need some time to get used to it. Is that so? So what about that thing I told you about last time? I don't follow. Did you do anything shady for Harry? Well, I've got a feeling that Harry runs some kind of alternate business within the walls. What kind of business? You know, a suitcase full of money, or drugs come in and out all the time, and Harry tells me to turn a blind eye. People go in with suitcases? Some. I'm not supposed to tell anyone in anyone in the, in with the suitcase or bags, but Harry asked me to ignore it. I see. What else? Did he tell you to kill anybody? No, I told Harry I wasn't. I wanted nothing to do with any legal stuff. Aren't you the guy who's letting people go in with drugs? 
Better than that. Better than getting blood on my hands again. Fair enough. But that doesn't solve the problem. I'll talk to a friend of mine. Maybe there's something we can do about this. Can you trust him? We go way back. Don't worry. I can't even trust you right now. That hurt, Mr. Baker. So how can this old pro... I don't think you can. Wait. Well, I hope in time will change your mind. See you in a few days. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it for today. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, please show your support by hitting that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.